we're going to chop up and add some broccoli rob to our garlic and oil spaghetti. So bumping up the nutrition, adding lots of fiber and great vitamin uh, count on this. It's a superfood, it's a cruciferous vegetable, um, but it is very bitter. So I have two pans of water here going. In one pan, we're going to add a good amount of salt. We're also going to salt our pasta water. That's to flavor the pasta itself, okay? So we're gonna let this guy hang out for a good four or five minutes. Then we're gonna put it into an ice water bath, which I have set up right next to the pot. So right from here to here with tongs or your big spider. For the aglio olio, only two ingredients, again, garlic and oil. But in my family, my grandpa is Sicilian. Um, and in Sicilian dishes, it's very common for a natural salt to melt anchovies into olive oil. This is a funny little gadget called a truffle shaver and I use it to shave my garlic. So I'm just going to marry our garlic into our anchovy oil and I'll meet you right back here. This is just spaghetti. I keep a mug right next to the sink. Why? Because in Italian cuisine, we always marry the pasta to the sauce, no matter what the sauce is. And an integral part of that is the starchy, salty water. Over here, this is lots of garlic in our anchovy oil. We melted that together. When you cook with anchovies or seafood, it's traditional uh, to cook with fortified wine. This is dry vermouth. For heat, you use crushed red pepper flakes, or our family, because we're Sicilians, we always have a jar of Calabrian chili paste. We do not use cheese as the garnish on seafood. We use toasted breadcrumb. So I have garlic butter here. I'm just gonna marry it with some ground stale bread and salt, and you put this in the oven to toast. The salty breadcrumbs have the same effect as sprinkling cheese, but there's no cheese in it. So I'm gonna let these toast up in the oven. So we're going to finish with a splash of citrus. Also in Italian culture, we like a lot of citrus. It finishes and brightens everything. Instead of just adding a squirt of lemon, I'm going to chop up some preserved lemon and we're going to marry that at the end. It just brightens any dish. And don't forget, I added broccoli rob so I'd have something to talk about for 10 minutes on TV. So I'm gonna chop that up too. I'm gonna marry this all together. When we come back, we'll toss the pasta together and serve. is how you marry pasta and sauce. I've added the broccoli rabe or the rapini to our anchovy garlic oil with chili paste or chili flake. We then drain off our undercooked pasta. I wanna uh, just throw in one last ingredient. As I said, we finish with a little citrus. I'm gonna throw in chopped preserved lemon, tangy, salty, delicious, and a little secret ingredient, a splash of the brine from the jar. Then we take all of our pasta and all of your sauce with that starchy cooking water, right? And see, you have to start working this all the way through to get the flavor of the garlic oil around all of the pasta. Toasty breadcrumbs, then our parsley, and nice tangy Sicilian pecorino. Yeah. Actually, pecorino's Roman, but whatever. It's salty, <laughs> it's salty, tangy cheese. And we're gonna mix that all together with our fingertips. And then we're gonna make it rain! Yeah.